Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video. This time I'm going to be explaining a process that has been plaguing the Mac community since the release of OS X 10.11.0. So when the, uh, the first release of El Capitan came out in the beta release, Apple had a bug in it that was a time machine issue. Certain models of Mac computers do not back up the time machine anymore. It essentially breaks it. When you run a time machine backup, it'll pop up with the, the problem, unable to complete backup and error curve while creating the backup folder. This, will, this has been a problem since the first iterations of the beta. Uh, people have complained to Apple about it, but Apple hasn't fixed it, and we are now on 10.11.2 now, and the problem still persists. So uh, here it is on Mac Pro 2009, which apparently is where it plagues the most. I know some people that have iMacs have the problem. It's, it's, it's a really bad thing. It's really a huge mistake by Apple not fixing this before it came out. Uh, so this essentially breaks backups, preventing you from making any backups. So people have tried um, reformatting the hard drive and redoing their backups, but that doesn't seem to fix the problem at all. It's a uh, problem with the OS itself, which can't be fixed that simply. Fortunately, the only way you can deal with this problem is little band-aids, and from this process I found out, you can't actually fix the problem as much as just fix it one time and it'll back up. So I've been doing weekly increment backups every time I have to fix it and then back up and then it breaks again. Uh, it seems to be that some ways that I found that help fix it, uh, for example when I updated to 10.11.2 uh, from 10.11.1, it fixed it temporarily allowing me to back up yesterday. As you can see, that's yesterday. So um, right now it is broken so it doesn't work. So it backed up once and that's that. I also found out if you restart your computer and zap the PRAM, if you know what that is, it's, uh, while it's booting up you hold down command option PR and it'll gong then it'll gong again, and that means you zap the PRAM, which clears system memory cache. That works sometimes, not all the times, but it worked once or twice for me. I also found that if you do updates, like, I don't know, it's, it's really bizarre. <laughs> it works sometimes, some of the times it doesn't. There's no clear-cut reasoning why certain things work and why I don't. I've tried everything I can think of humanly possible before I went on the internet and looked up a solution. So I'm going to teach you a solution that is a quick band-aid fix. So if you need a backup, backup immediately, you have some vital documents you don't want to lose in case your hard drive crashes. So here we go. This is something I found on the internet on uh, CNET, which does work. So uh, if you are interested in looking at the document, here it is. Time machine users get error occurred while creating backup directory. This is a older document. I think it was published in 2009. Yeah. And it uh, outlines an issue if this was back with the older releases of the version. I'll keep this. I'll put a link to this in the description below if you want to read into it further. It's got some very good. This this website scene that's pretty good for helping out with stuff like this. So I'm going to outline the uh, the basic process that it outlines in this this uh, this blog post. So first thing you want to do is you want to uh, disconnect your drive. So I'm going to eject it. This way we don't mess up anything on the file format. Yeah, it's gonna say. Yeah, just to force eject. Something is always happens, it's weird. Something is using it and I don't know what it is, but I have no programs running in the background and it always does that. So I just shut off the drive. And now we go to the go. And to go to go to folder. As you can see, I already put in the file here because I copy and pasted it. You take the slash library slash preferences and hit go. And it'll take you to this, which is just a list of Apple plist and settings. The file we're looking for is the time machine.plist. You'll have to scroll down and look at this. com.apple.timeless.plist. This thing is created every day. Every time you do a backup, it creates a new plist, which does, uh, we can look at it actually, because I have a plist reader, but um, yeah, here it is. So this is, this is the information that y you can't understand really, but this is what is in there. <laughs> So it has an array type, which means that it's a, you know lists and stuff, destinations and all that information. This is uh, basically telling you every information about your backup drive, which is important. So we're going to be destroyers that we are and drag that to the trash. Drag that to the trash. Boom, gone. All right, so now we're going to restart the backup drive. Give me a second. It's going to remount, and then it's going to say, hey, do you want to set up a backup drive? So if we go into Time Machine Preferences, actually, it should should have disappeared. Because we just deleted every single thing about it. 
So here we go, time machine. Go into it. it. Knows it exists, but it doesn't know where it is or what it is. See, it's not connected. Okay, fine. <laughs> so give it a second to boot up. I'm gonna remove the disk. Stop using this. This is also something I learned that you should do: is remove the disk from the backup. It'll completely clear the cache out, and then do it again. So we'll see if this backup works. This should work. So there you go. See, it works. I can back up now, and this is a one-time deal. <laughs> I can't back up again after this. Most likely what would happen is it'll back up and then break again. So this is a quick little fixy, um, fix me up that gets the job done. Uh, you just have to go in there and delete it every single time you want to back up. So there's no more just in the background, like if you're writing a document, it'll back up every hour or something like it used to do, which was very convenient. Convenience is lost in this day and age, apparently, in 2016. And uh, backups are a thing of the past. So uh, that. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below and I will answer your question. Thank you guys for watching.